hey y'all welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping back by if you are a return watcher i appreciate all the support and if you are new to the barbie gang uh, hello 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 and welcome home sis welcome home sis i really appreciate you stopping by make sure that you check out some of my other videos because they cute they pop and i guess so i decided today that i wanted to um, recreate a look that i saw on instagram and if you guys are familiar with super the owner of Cre crayon case um she recently posted a picture and she had this really cute black smoky eye with a pinky nude look with black straight hair and she was the ish it was so so pretty and stunning and I decided to recreate it now although I do have the crayon case so I sell to the crayon case I picked up um, a palette that I'm very familiar with um, which is the Morphe 9a and I just used um, the two colors out of here um, because it's just something that I knew that I would be able to use it not saying that her palette isn't like I wouldn't be able to do it with hers but again this is one of my go-to when I do my smoky eye so I just picked that up um, and I wanted to give you guys a quick little holiday party night out on the town sexy sultry smoky eye look I'm pretty sure I've done this look before but yeah so that was my inspiration through uh, for this particular look I'll be posting some pictures on my Instagram if you haven't seen it already make sure you go and check it out and I just thank you guys again for stopping by and make sure you like comment and subscribe how and I created this look oh wait a minute and I did this look and it only took me 45 minutes <laughs> the crowd goes wow but you can do her in 45 minutes like it's it takes some time to really master foundation and all the, the layers of things that you put in a really great look not saying it's great because I'm pretty sure there's some things that I could have done better but for me to only been playing in makeup a little over a year and to get to the point where I can do my makeup in 45 minutes is a milestone for me and it's it feels great so and I was talking to my friend on the phone so that made it even better so I'm excited just wanted to share that with you guys and if you again are interested in this look and how I achieved this black sultry smoky eye then stay tuned and keep watching Bye. so I have pretty thick eyebrows y'all so I don't need to do that much but sometimes I like it to be a little bit neat in place and a little darker so to fill it in I use those the brow fibers I mentioned that in several videos but um, every now and then I will line it with a pencil um, just to make it look a little bit more um, crisp um, so I'm not really you know the best or really educated in eyebrows I just you know sometimes feel like doing a little bit of extra and that's basically what I do and then I do um liner or concealer to clean it up on i do bottom for the most part but sometimes i will do the top which is what i did in this video and these are two brand new concealers that i um, recently picked up and thought i would use them today and i absolutely love them um one is the uh one is chart which is what i'm using on the bottom and then i use to clean up the top um, uh, Too Faced. So I've never used e either one of those before. Well, actually the Tarte, I had a sample, um, but I, I've never bought the full size, so I decided to do that. Um, and I absolutely love them. Now the colors are a bit off, but they work. Um, I have so many different shades. I don't mind, you know, being off. I can always make it, I feel like I can always make it work. And then I have, you know, other people that I play with makeup in and I make it work for them. So I'll be fine with that.
So I just make sure that I pat it in um, to get as much on there um, and to make it less sticky, I guess. I put setting powder on it. It's not really sticky, um, but you know, just to set it so it is a smoother surface. And then I'll start off with this nice, pretty um, brown. And I only use two colors in this look. Um, and it came out really pretty i just you know blended that all the way across the crease all the way up um and then i like to go back in with my concealer brush to blend down it just makes it, it make me feel like it's a little bit more a little smoother um in transition from my brow bone um, highlight um, or concealer color to the actual color and then i just pat on that black and then you'll see me blending it out in a few So one thing that I've learned is that when you are doing a smoky eye or any color um, eye or any style, it's the best way to do it is to pack it on and then blend it. So the key is pack, packing the color on and then blending in whatever direction or in whatever shape that you need it to be. So blending, packing and blending is the key. So just remember that. So when you're learning um, eyeshadows, make sure that you pack pack it on and then blend it. Now, also, I didn't want to do a wing. I wasn't even sure I was going to do um, liner, but I decided to go ahead with the liner because I was going to do lashes. Um, and I feel like it's a smoother transition when you have a little bit of line there. Um, so I did do a black liner, which you really, I don't think you can tell, but I didn't do any wing with it. Now let's go to the face. So I already put on my um, moisturizer and primer. And here I have started to use a BB cream under as another layer under. And I feel like every time I've used it, my foundation has looked a lot more natural and a lot smoother. And I think it might just be because I tend to um, not put on as much foundation when I have the BB cream on because I'm not trying to cover as much, um, which I don't need a lot of coverage, but hopefully that makes sense. And then I add this step, I added this step to putting a um, translucent powder, or if in this case, I use um, Fenty Banana Powder, setting powder, um, and it just makes the foundation a lot better for me. I don't know if it'll work for everybody, but it worked for me. Um, and then this NYX foundation has been sitting I used it a while back and didn't really like it so I decided to try it again today and the color um, worked really really well I almost want to say is damn near perfect so yeah I was filling this um, foundation um, the whole look the whole day and it lasted a very long time um, so yeah i'm gonna use that again <laughs> that found that foundation i don't know what color it was sorry if i remember i'll put it in the comments but i'm terrible at that but yeah so i'm using the um the new foundation here and like i said this is the Too faced one and which is a, a more brown color that i would use on my for my um concealer and then i just add it for a little bit lighter color because i do like a you know semi-light color under eye um i always reach for that um but it ended up looking very natural so i don't know this 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 um this blend of colors and products see i liked it more than i've liked any other well likes any other in a long time because there was one time i did a look and i don't remember what i used but it was just like oh my god it looks like skin it doesn't look cakey i did a really good job but could not remember what i used so i'm so glad that i decided to record 
this look and it came out really good because I'm definitely gonna go back and try and recreate because I feel like this is like a look that you want to go for like you know makeup no makeup kind of look um, if I tone it down just a little bit or not even really makeup no makeup because it could definitely looks like I have a makeup but you know like you don't want to do too much and you want it to look skin like and flawless and smooth and not too powdery um, not too dewy it just looked really good it was well balanced and um, I really really liked it so I'm definitely gonna try to use these exact same products again just to see if maybe just to make sure it wasn't a fluke you know So one other thing that I am working on mastering, well, I don't want to keep saying mastering because I haven't went to school. I haven't played in or educated myself enough to be talking about mastering. And I don't want to be a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast and I just love to play and it's just something I do to ease my mind and just to, just because I love it. I've fallen in love with doing makeup, but anyways, um, one thing that I want to do is learn the different types and feels of setting powder because I feel like certain setting powders do certain things um, and sometimes I feel like I need a you know not really a lot but I need to pack it on and then other times like with this Fenty I feel like it's the the light the least amount that you use the lighter the better um, so this time you just see me lightly putting it on like not really uh, cake you know a lot um, so I found having to do that with the Fenty um, and I'm just learning to do that more so another thing uh, that is new for the first time I'm tr I tried was this bronzer from Anastasia oh my god like I love the um, uh, the Bobbi Brown bronzer um, and I crushed it and it was running out anyway so I decided to pick up this one and it is so so nice it just seems like it bronzing um, with the bronzing powder just makes it, the makeup look just looks so much better so yeah that was the first using a first time using that um, bronzer and I really really like it I've been using it ever since um, and then another tip so one thing I found that you know us brown girls we don't really blush like we don't get blush like we don't turn and get rosy cheeks it's just not something that happens for us which is fine but if you like like a, a lighter pink red rosy cheek um to settle to make it subtle and to make it make sense I found that adding a little bit of like a flush pink on top of it to light to lighten it up to make it look more natural and more like airbrushed almost um just add a little bit of that uh like a light light pink a really soft pink on top of it almost like a set like you would like a translucent powder for your blush almost so you'll see what i'm talking about um like right there i didn't really show you much of the color but just see how it softens it up a little bit or if you don't if you're afraid to use the reds then go for like the um rust colors or maybe the peachy colors um those seem to work well with our skin also Adding your highlight on top of the blush if you do feel like it's a little bit too much for you is also a trick that I find to kind of tone it down. Just adding it right, sitting it right on top of that blush um, and it kind of blends in together. Um, so that's something that you can try if you feel like you wanted to try the red um, or a different tone that may not be typical for your skin tone. Just add a little bit of the highlight on top of it. Um, and then you see me here just... Um, Smoking out the bottom, um, I don't do too much, just a little black and smoke out that bottom and we're almost done.
camera. Say hi. Boy, why you not gonna kiss me? I know you for glad. So for the sake of this video, I am gonna throw this wig on. I would definitely do a lot more to this wig if I was wearing it out, but I'm not. I'm just wearing it just to bring this look together to finish this video it's a synthetic wig it's really nice i've only worn it twice this is like me putting it on the second or maybe third time but yeah so i would definitely don't come for it the lace the part none of that the way that it's sitting because i know and i definitely would not wear it out the house like this but again just for the purpose of this video Another thing that I do, I've said before, is I spray my face with my setting spray um, and then I go in and I um, pat it in my skin with a brush um, just to help it sit longer. And then I finish off with the blurring effect with buffing in a translucent powder, which the one that I use is the Marc Jacob um, Flawless Finish, I think it's called. Um, which I dropped and cracked that too, but yeah, I need to be more careful with my makeup, obviously. But this is it, y'all. So hopefully you guys like this. It was so simple, so cute. Natural lighting. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you Barbies later.